Hello and welcome to this Retverb video. On today's video we're going to be looking at this 1980s retro robot toy. My friend let me have it to try and repair um, so hopefully we can get it working. Currently at the moment he's saying that it doesn't do anything when you put the batteries in so I'm just going to put some batteries in first just to rule that out. Um, the last one that he gave me the batteries was one of the main reasons it wasn't working so yeah let's put the batteries in and have a quick look and see what's going on. So as you can see when the batteries are put in nothing happens so we need to open it up see what's going on inside hopefully it's not too complicated and we can get it working relatively easily. Quite a few of these old toys use rivets to hold it together or special sort of fixings which you can't really get out without destroying the part so luckily with this one it's held in with normal crosshead phillips type screws which makes it a hell of a lot easier to get inside without damaging anything in the process. So I'm just trying to open it up carefully and make sure I don't damage anything while I pull it apart. But straight away inside I can see that there's some wires that are all hanging out. It look like they've been wound around some of the mechanism. So I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the main reasons it's not actually working. Here I'm just checking inside the main mechanism just to make sure there's nothing jammed in there. Just make sure it's all freely moving um, and then we can just roll that out first. So these two parts that I just pulled out, the black part is from the hand mechanism or the arm mechanism to get them to move. So that will need refitting. Um, the other part I'm not sure where that came from but I think it might have been something to do with the headlight. So again I'm just working the main metal mechanism just to make sure it's moving all right. It was a little bit stiff to be honest. I think that wouldn't have helped so I'm hoping just moving this round, getting it released then it will work a hell of a lot better. It does start moving a lot more freer after doing this so I'm pretty sure that probably caused a lot of the issues. It might have even been the original issue that then caused the wire to all mess up and chew up inside. As you can see I've just removed the main part of that metal mechanism just so I can have a look inside, make sure the cogs look okay and just make sure it's operating as it should before I put it back together. You can see here when I operate the cog in the lower section it operates the legs correctly so this is all okay. So all I'm doing here is just doing a quick test to make sure the motor is working okay. I'm just going to wire it up just on the bench like it is now and just make sure that it works without everything put together first. And as you can see that was successful. As soon as I touched the wire on it, it worked so that's all okay. Um, I was a little bit worried that the motor might have gone but as you can see it's all working fine. Now I'm going to get the main part of the mechanism put back together on the legs because we know that works all alright now, the motor works okay, the legs are freely moving, so that's alright. And then we can do a quick test of the legs working with the motor in place. So that was another success with all that put back in place. You can see the legs are working all okay. So that's good. We can now move on to the next stage. Here I'm just checking the old bulb. I have actually tried to wire it up beforehand and it didn't work. So I will need to replace this. But... You don't actually see me do that unfortunately I didn't record that part of the video so I've got another bulb to put in here. The only problem is it's a slightly higher voltage so it's not quite as bright but this can be easily changed in the future if needed. Here I'm now doing the soldering for the wire to go to the LED light that goes in the head and then after that we can look at getting the LED fitted correctly inside the head.
Now that the wiring's all done for the LED, I'm now going to look at the iron mechanism and just see if I can get that part fitted back on correctly, which is snapped off. So I just need to work out where it needs to go properly and then I can glue it in place so it's ready to go on when we put it back together. So I actually forgot to solder the LED wire onto the main mechanism, so I'm just going to do that now before going forward. And whilst I'm doing this, I'm also going to do the soldering for the rest of the wires. Another quick check just to make sure that everything's working okay before we go forward, just to make sure that the spinning mechanism, the legs are working okay at this point before putting anything back together or doing any more work on it. So as you can see from the quick demonstration, both spinning mechanism and the walking mechanism are both working okay. Now we can look at repairing the iron mechanism and getting that working okay. So with this, it's just a case of getting the broken part on the iron mechanism glued back in place, just making sure it's in the right location so it moves all okay when in operation. So the broken part has now been glued back on with super glue, so that should last pretty well with that. So now we can look at getting the LED inside the head. Um, we can start putting everything back together now. We should be near enough there with this. As said before, this LED is not ideal for this. It's going to be a little bit dim, but it's all I had, so it'll do the job for now. But obviously in the future it could be replaced for a 3 volt LED, which should work a lot better. It's just a quick sort of side note about the robot. Um, I'm presuming it's late 80s. I couldn't really find anything much about it to be honest. I did try doing a Google search just to see if I could find any information about it but I couldn't really find anything. Um, value wise you know I don't know what sort of value it is but obviously nostalgia wise you can't really put a price on that obviously. The repair I did in the car for the same friend that owns this one. I doubt he sits at home and plays with him all day long anyway but it's just you know something he's had from a child that he wants to get working again and something that will just remind him of his childhood. So back to the video now, you can see that I'm just putting everything back together and then we can do a quick test and see if it's all working okay. Some of these parts are a little bit fiddly to get back in, particularly the wiring up to the head for the LED. I'm just trying to make sure that I route it around the side so it doesn't get in the way when obviously in operation. I don't want it to get tangled up again and do exactly the same as what happened previously. So now we've just got the screws to go back in and that'll be it all buttoned up. Fingers crossed all the repairs that have been done have now got it working okay. Obviously we've demoed it all the way through. Every single process has just been tested so it should be absolutely fine. As you can see it's come out great, it all works as it should, it walks correctly, it spins round and it goes through the motions of the arm. So yeah, another successful repair there. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video, it's really appreciated. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.